I'd say it's time for some pansies right there. Had some really, really high winds last night, so I, I spent a lot of the day blowing my leaves up in my beds and cleaning the yard up. And that night, or two nights after, the wind blew. So uh, when I mow today, I'm gonna mow and then go back over the second time and put my bagger on and you can kind of see somewhat the stripes going this way and we're going to cross it up and we're going to create a good nice little checkerboard pattern today that'll be pretty cool and today is monday this is unusual i'm out here on a monday morning at at 9 30 mowing my yard i don't honestly don't think i've ever mowed it on a 9 30 monday morning and i'm gonna get everything mowed do some striping you can see i've got my roller on so i'm ready to uh, lock in some stripes for the winter uh, obviously they're not going to stay there forever but they'll stay here for a little bit and something else I, i've really worked on my camera uh quality I, i've bought me a couple of new gopros i'm filming on an eight right now some of this will be filmed on a nine and i've really been watching the color on it and learning how to set the camera up so you get true color and when i look at some of my older videos the color's just not true to what the actual color of my yard is i think i won't know until i'm getting in get into editing but i think i have it set up good now to where this should be more of an accurate color of my yard i hope hope it is Alright, so the way I get those perfect little square boxes, as you can see, now obviously you don't need a piece of PVC pipe to do this. I'm just laying this out there for illustration. Now what I'm trying to do is mow directly opposite of these lines, okay? So what I'm saying is you want your mower deck squared up with your lines going this way. If I mow at a little bit of an angle, my boxes are gonna be tilted a little bit, okay? If I mow a little bit that way, too much of an angle, my boxes will be tilted. I'm looking for perfect squares. And that way, depending on which way you look at them, you either get perfect squares or you get a perfect diamond shape. See, when I take the rod and move it like that, see how I'm, not, I'm no longer square with my previous lines that's going to make my pattern look a little jacked up and my boxes are going to look jacked up same difference that way if I mow a little bit off center of that away my boxes are going to be a funky shape and they're not going to be that perfect little square maybe this will give you a good idea of handlebar view you can see how I'm going to basically go a direct opposite of my stripes I already put down that way I can create that box or diamond shape pattern checkerboard Depending on the way you move around in the yard, it depends on how the boxes show up. You see they kind of go away right there. And when we turn around this way, 
Bingo. There's your money shot right there. Now we cooking. You can see now what I'm talking about. You see those perfect little squares? And they're, obviously they're not perfect, nothing's perfect, but they're as close to perfect as I can get them because I crossed up my mower pattern just right to create that perfect little box. I keep saying perfect, but it's not perfect. You can see, that's, pretty close to perfect i'm all I, i'm not gonna get a tape measure out and measure it but it's it's close it's close enough for me so when you look at it directly this way you see those stripes and you look at it this way you see those and then kind of in the middle you can see my shadow right here the sun's directly to my back you can see how you get that checkerboarded pattern hey there it's pete with gci turf hope you're having a great day today Merry Christmas. I want to be the first one to tell you. I think we're I think we're in November now. I think it's the first or second day of November, something like that. And I wanted to be the first one to tell you Merry Christmas. If you're new to the channel, uh, like, subscribe, and share, and tell all your buddies. We do a bunch of yard stuff here. This right here is my yard, and I like a nice, green, lush, thick, dense, really nice yard. It's just, I'm peculiar like that. It's what I like. And I like the fact that I can stripe it up and put designs in it like I want to. Now here's your disclaimer. You'll never get from me that you have to stripe your yard in order for it to look good. That's a personal preference, okay? I'll, I'll never push that on you and say, your yard looks like crap if it's not striped up. I could care less if you striped your yard or not. But what I do care about is that you have a nice yard if you're into that kind of thing. Again, the yard stuff's not for everybody, but if you're looking for that high-end, really nice, uh, look different than all the neighbor's yard, then you're in the right place. So in order to stripe grass, first of all, you need nice turf, okay? Typically weeds aren't gonna stripe, it's just the way it is. Typically cool season turf like fescue, bluegrass, ryegrass, typically they're gonna be the ones that stripe a little bit harder than say, Things like Bermuda and St. Augustine and uh, Zoysia, Centipede. I'm not saying they won't stripe because they will. Typically, the cool season turf is champion when it comes to striping up really hard. And my yard here is predominantly tall fescue and then it's got a little bit of Kentucky bluegrass mixed in. That's why it looks so dark green compared to other fescue yards that you see around me. So once you get your grass right, you need something to stripe. And of course, you can have a mower that, that doesn't have anything on it and some will stripe better than others. Uh, you know, my right ZK, it's a really hard striping mower without a roller. Uh, my, my X Mark is a really hard striping mower without a roller. But what I do is I put my big league lawn roller on there and I enhance that effect and I make the, 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 the stripes shine brighter and more bold and they just kind of pop more and they're more defined i got a really good relationship with big league and i'm telling you man those are awesome guys are great to work with uh, i've still got my coupon code so if that's something you're interested in i'm gonna link it up in the description and you get 10 percent off one of those rollers and yes they make them for almost any mower out there now i know in the past i've said i typically don't use it in the fall of the year okay I, I have mine set up where i can take it on and off typical of me not to use it after aerating and seeding i'll wait until the following spring but i just felt good today 
I, it's Monday. I'm not at work today, and I'm getting to mow my yard on a Monday for the first time. So I really wanted to go all out, and uh, the yard's looking pretty dang good right now. The sun's perfect. It just kind of the moon's aligned, and everything worked out just right. We that's why I did it. And yes, I'm on my last day. Well. A few days ago was my last day where I tested positive for COVID and my wife, uh, she has a, maybe two more days to go. And yeah, my kids did too. So the whole house was affected and I appreciate you guys uh, praying for us and thinking about us and that kind of thing. Uh, we're pretty much past it. Me and my wife, we lost our taste and uh, a little bit of congestion and that's about all that we had to deal with. Uh, Praise the Lord, because I know that in some cases it can be uh, crucial, to say the least. And we were very fortunate and didn't have to deal with that. And yes, my special needs son, with the uh, he has a compromised lung. He is positive as well, so we're keeping an extreme eye on him. Uh, because I know that this virus kind of affects people that have uh, conditions like that in a pretty uh, negative way or has the potential to and look we're gonna do like we do with everything else in in life we're gonna trust the Lord with this know that this didn't take God by surprise he already knew Jax was gonna have to deal with this so we're gonna trust in him uh, know that there's no virus no nothing on the face of this planet or in this cosmos that can compare to the power of Jesus. So we're gonna lean on that, and we're gonna trust that, and know that his will and his way and his plan is perfect. Regardless of what we think of it, it's a perfect plan, we're gonna trust it. I have to say the weirdest thing is drinking a sun drop and you can feel the carbonation, you can feel that burn, but you can't taste the goodness. That was the strangest thing for me. Say, so, hey, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch. I'm gonna actually go back here with my Allet and film a mower on it. I've got an Allet Uplift 86, and a lot of you've been asking for like a review type video on that. So while I've got a minute, I'm gonna go back here and do that. And again, I appreciate you watching. I'll check you later.